and we're live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video, courtesy of www.simplydiag.net. Another bright and sunny day here in Cheshire. Well, no, it's not actually. <laughs> it's currently 8.51 on Tuesday morning, the 11th of January. And I just thought I'd give you um, a little heads up of a job I'm doing today for one of my YouTube subscribers. Funnily enough, He's got the same name as me, Steve Scott. So, <laughs> if you're watching this later, Steve, here's an update on your vehicle. So, we've got, let me just, just pan you around. We've got a 2004 Ford Transit Connect 1.8 diesel. Um, customer complaint is the vehicle cut out, um, it's never, never, never run since, and we've got a flashing patch light. So we turn that off, wait for the patch light to start flashing. You'll see it in the middle of the clocks. There you go. And I'm going to turn the key on. The wipers come on. And we've got a rapidly flashing patch light. Okay. So the story with this vehicle is the owner um, had somebody to come out and look at it. They've sent the module away that's on the fuel pump down here. They sent the module away, you can see the black wires there. They've sent the module away and had that tested. Um, and that's okay. Morning, Simon. And that's about, literally, that's about as far as we've got. So what we did yesterday, we did a full global scan using Ford IDS. You can see we've actually got the live zoom there running, top right hand corner of the screen. We've got a live zoom running for our members as well. So we did a full scan with IDS. You can see we've got B1359 in the cluster, B2262 in the cluster, U1262 in the cluster. Stephen, Rob, morning. And then we've got uh, the obligatory P1000 because DTCs and, have been cleared and monitors haven't run. Then we've got B2139 in the PCM, B2141 in the PCM. So we just, just go through these so I can show you. So, the ignition run accessory circuit failure, that could well be tied into the wipers coming on at Keon. 2262, wiper park to park, time out exceeded. Yeah, front washer relay on for 10 seconds continuously. There's another clue to how we want to proceed. 1262, fault on the SCP link. So that's a single wire, single wire link that the, um, the mobiliser runs through. P1000, readiness test not complete. 2139, PCM identification was not recognised by the PATS module. Well, E, good morning. And then finally, 2141, there is no PCM identification known to the PATS module. Okay. So what we, we, had a, we had a ride along yesterday with Edward from in and out Auto Tech, he came and we just started work, working through it and we started getting the stuff on the whiteboard. So you can see there we've got a flashing pack slide, wipers on on the ignition cycle. Yeah, we've reprogrammed the three keys. So all three keys are now programmed to the vehicle. And then we tried to do a fuel injection pump initialization and that actually failed. That requires secure access, or if you're using Forescan with a lifetime license, it actually does it for you. The module on top of the fuel injection pump has been replaced, but it's reporting no PCM ID. The key reader's got to be okay because we programmed three keys. In our instruments, we've got an ignition and ACC fail and an SCP fault. PCM no PATS ID. So these are the suspects, wiring, PCM, instruments, key reader, fueling injection pump module, the module on the pump. So what we've got to do now, by wiring, I mean, have we got a broken wire, have we got a blown fuse? So power grounds, comms lines and stuff like that. We're just starting to build a picture of how we want to proceed with this diagnostic plan. Yeah. Like I say, the first thing I did, first thing I did, um, using IDS was to run through um, a program the three keys, del deleted, all, deleted the keys out of the vehicle, reprogrammed the three keys back in and then did a module initialization 
um, that failed. So I thought, okay, no problem. Um, because Edward was with us yesterday, well, I also showed him how to do it on Forescan. It also failed on Forescan, and funnily enough, using Forescan, it wasn't able to detect the ignition off cycle. When you turn the ignition off during the programming stage, it wasn't able to detect that. It just kept asking for ignition off, ignition off, ignition off. So the biggest clue for me here is how to proceed with this diagnosis now is to start chasing why do the wipe why do the wipers come on and have I got a you know have I got a power feed missing to the cluster that's corrupting the signal between the immobiliser chain. So that, that's that's where we are at the minute. We're using all data and Hella HGS for the wiring diagrams. Um, and really we're just gonna go through it, work through it, start the basics. We'd like to say we've started to build a bit of a plan up now. Um, we know that the, 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 the key read is okay, the coil around, you know, around, around where the ignition key goes. We know that's okay because we've been able to program the three keys in. We can talk to the engine, we can talk to the fuel pump, we can talk to the cluster. So have we got, have we got like a, a secondary ignition feed or something that's missing somewhere? So that's where we're up to with that. <laughs> Hopefully at some point during the day we'll be along with uh, along with another video to give you the fix. But Steve, this is for you. Just to, just to let you know where we're up to with your van. So have an awesome Tuesday, folks. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.